it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we are doing the last letter of our 10K. I know I'm celebrating coming up soon um, in anticipation of hitting 10,000 followers. <laughs> so I wanted to do my 3D box letters that represent how I got here. So my, my top three um, videos are the Grinch. So I thought this little ornament here would be super cute. So the Grinch, Ariel and the butterflies. So I wanted to kind of give you a try to make it cohesive. So my the thing that's running through all of it is the gold kind of theme. So I'm hoping it all like kind of comes together even though they are very different. So anyway, so today this one's going to be a little bit different and it's the first time that I'm doing this. I'm doing a shaker. And if you look at this, see I mean it's pretty thick, right? Um so I'm going to do the shaker, but the whole thing is going to be clear. So it's going to, it's going to be a little bit different. So we'll, we'll try that out normally because, and I bring that up is because normally I like to recommend that we put together our 3d letters. We do our front facing, um, we put it down and kind of do the front facing first, but in this case, because we're going to be filling up the shakers, we need to do the back first. So, um, we'll worry about that when we get there. The other thing is because this design is new, I have a lot of things going on. Like I have a bunch of flowers, a bunch of leaves, a bunch of butterflies, because I don't know how it's all gonna work out. Normally by the time I get to do a video, I've already pieced together one, and so I kind of know all the elements that I wanna do um, that should go on the in the design. But in this case, this is the first time that I'm building this. Um, I wanted to make sure I had enough on hand to edit and then we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> All right, so with our 3D letters, I would say the first thing is, you know, get your tabs, right? These are our tabs. This is what's building the height right here. And I'm just gonna move these out of the way so we have more space. Um, so that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna move this up to. All right, I was kind of like piecing together some of these just to get an idea of like how much is going on there. So with our tabs, First thing is, this is going to be, we're building our we're building our letter up. So this is gonna be our back. We're gonna put our tabs down like this, and then we're gonna fill it in, and then we're gonna put our top layer on top. Normally I like to do it the opposite, but in this case we wanna be filling the things up. So, um, all right. So I feel like with the 3D letters, when you're doing one at a time, it's super easy to figure out which tab goes where. Obviously with this one, this is our longest piece, so it has to go here, right? So this goes here, and then we know the top goes here and the bottom goes here. Then we know our next piece is probably going to be right here. No. Right here. <laughs> so you can tell from the from the sides where everything goes but let's do this one first because this one's like super obvious so what you do is you want to fold everything both ways because once you tape down or glue down something it's so hard to fold at that point so you want to do all your folding before you permanently put it down now the bottom side whatever I put down first I I like to use double-sided tape um, I feel like it's just easier for me to handle. It's less messy. But the top side, I always have to do it with glue because at that point, your box is too sensitive to handle like tape and pressing down too hard. Um, and I feel like with the tabs, it's just easier to do glue. So you know I don't love using glue, but when I do, I do use Barely Art. Um, it's a great glue. And I know I don't get anything from them to do that, <laughs> but I do like to recommend products. Okay, um, all right, so I folded this in, so I know it's gonna go like this, right? So I'm gonna unfold it and know that my tape is gonna go along here. So let me put this aside. Let's get some scratch paper, and I'm just gonna do this. Okay, um, so here's the, the double-sided tape that I like to use. It's Tombow, and it's the mono-permanent adhesive. Um, 
I just recently found this at Michael's. I mean, they sell it all the time at Michael's. That's that's not the discovery. The discovery though is online. You can go and buy um, and click on their pro program and that's buying in bulk. Um, I realized that some of you guys, if, you, if you're not selling, then you know, you're, you probably don't want to buy in bulk. But if you use this a lot, which I love this, this thing, I bought, I don't even know how many I bought, whatever the amount you had to buy to get that discount. It was super, super cheap. I want to say it was like, I ended up paying just, it was like 75% off compared to what I normally would get it at. So, all right. So now I'm going to fold the pieces in, okay? And I'm gonna do the long side first, and I kinda wanna tilt it so where I can see it really well. So I'm gonna put it down. And when you're putting it down, until you press down, I feel like you still have a little bit of wiggle room to move things. So even though the tape is on and it's really sticky, I feel like until you press down, you still have a little bit of room to do things. So anyway, um, I like to, at this point, I use something, whatever it is, whatever tool, I want to just kind of press down and really make sure that my tape is sticking to both my tabs and to the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna put it down like that, and I'm gonna fold this out because afterwards, um, I did have, I wanted to put I wanted to put this letter down on the inside so that we have a pretty background in the back because the shaker has so much space. So I wanted to put this in. Um, all right, so let's do our next piece. So here's our next piece and I wanna just double check. These are identical. So this top portion and this bottom portion are of the same measurement because you can see right here, you, when you put them on top of each other, they're folding in the same place. So there's no way to go wrong on here. And I only point that out is because I've done other letters where they look, they look like they're exactly identical, but they're not. So you just wanna make sure that you double check your work before you lay down one of your tabs um, and it's in the wrong place. Um, not a big deal in this case because this is for me, but obviously when you're doing it for a client, you don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm folding it both ways. Um, and like I said, you kind of know where this goes because there's only so many places it can go. So this is going to go like this. So now I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put tape down on this side. I know this is not my forte, like kind of figuring out where things should go. So I always have to kind of slow my roll a little bit and make sure that I'm putting tape down on the right side. Okay. doing it this way. I'm going to fold it in. All right. So in this case, I think I'm going to do the shortest piece first. Once I get that down, I feel like everything else will probably be, um, will just fall into place. So like I was saying, even though it's sticky, um, until you press down, you could still lift up and make changes to it. So you're not stuck just yet. All right, so now I'm in. See, so it looks pretty good all around. 
Um, and you can see it's starting to get a little tight in here. So you're gonna need you know, some sort of stick or something to get. I don't even feel like my hands are that big, but you can see it's kind of hard to get in there. Okay, so that's in. Let's get our last piece in. So this one is gonna go And you just wanna, you know, like I said again, fold both ways. Um, so I ended up using medium cardstock right here. I think this is from Cricut. So I cut on medium, so it's about 80 pounds or so. Um, and it's solid enough. So you don't have to do 110 pound paper, but I do feel like when it's thicker, it's just a little bit, um, you know, it's stiff. It's easier to handle these little pieces, but this is totally fine. And I've actually even done 65 pound and it's fine. So whatever you have on hand. Um, and it, after you do a few, you'll get a feel for what you're comfortable with. Okay, so in this one, what am I doing? I'm doing it this way. So it's gonna go like this. So I'm going to Unfold it and tape it here. Right, get out some scratch paper. Okay, so it's going like this. I'm gonna try to put down this this line first. everything all right so we're in and now I'm just going to make sure we're really in okay and let's see if we need to trim this at all before we push it in so this is gonna go on the inside tabs first so anywhere where a new tab starts there's a tab that needs to be glued so get your glue ready and I'm just gonna do one tab at a time and in the meantime go ahead and get your glue gun plugged in because we're gonna work on the butterflies while this is drying okay so I'm just gonna lift this up put a little bit of glue here oh. hold on let me get my pin looks like it's stuck in here so let's all right I'm gonna put this aside okay so when you're gluing the tabs I would definitely keep your your hand on it so that it's So it just gives a chance to dry in the in the proper place. So I'm gonna hold it right here. So I have a finger on the inside and then a finger on the outside just to hold it into place while it's drying. And I would only do one section at a time and then let's move on to another piece. So I'm gonna move this aside. Let's work on, so here are our flowers so far. I did the 
I did three. Let's do this one together. So when you have this pattern, you're rolling from the outside in. This part is the bottom that your flower sits on, okay? So it's that. Um, so I have a quilling tool. I don't know if you guys have one. I mean, you can easily do this with just your fingers, but I find that with the quilling tool, which is a cool project anyway, so you might want to get it. I got it on Amazon. It's just like a quick uh, sample quilling kit, but it has a little slit right there, so I'm going to put the paper through. And you can kind of see it looks like this, and then I'm going to roll towards me. Now, when you're doing paper flowers, you're going to want the lower cardstock, um, the 65 pound, because otherwise when you're rolling it, if the paper's hard, it's going to show like creases and bends in the paper, so you definitely don't want that. The other cool thing that I've picked up from others, and I'm not a, I'm not a flower person, I do flowers like twice a year, um, and in this case I only did it because I wanted to add something to the butterflies. Um, is if you apply heat to it, so like if you have a heat gun, like uh, if you use for embossing, which I do. Okay, so you're gonna, sorry, you're gonna pull out at this point and bend this over and I sort of let it, I stick my thumb here and I let it unravel a little bit until it's the right size for me. So right about there. Okay, so when I have the right size, I'm gonna pinch all the sides and I, I glue this together to just to let it um, kind of sit and then I put a little glue up here and then I'll fold it over. Um, what was I saying? Oh, with the heat gun. So if you heat up your cardstock, then you can bend it better. Like you can kind of like um, fold out your flowers a little bit, your petals, and it won't show the bend because the heat gets the paper more pliable. So here is this one. The other thing that I've, when I've worked with flowers in the past, is this tool is awesome. So what you do is, and I won't do it on this one because this one's still drying. It's still um, a little sensitive. So I'm gonna do it on this one so you can see. If you hold this, and it's kind of hard because these are so small, but with the bigger flowers, if you do this, it kind of, it curls out so you can kind of see, but it kind of bends right here. Um, I didn't want to get out my heat tool because I don't have I don't have a stand for it so it wasn't really going to video well but you can see that just looks better right and then you can do it for each one of these the other thing that I've seen people do and I, I don't know I just feel weird blowing my hot breath on it but if you do this it gives it like it just gets it a little warm and you can kind of bend it out more um, but Anyway, I'm not gonna place these flowers on because I'm gonna work on them a little bit more, but that's how you do your flowers. This is the one that we just did. And again, like I, you know, I would feel comf it would just look better if I start working on bending this out, bending some of the petals out. So it's gonna look like that. All right, so let's go back to this one. We did that tab. Let's do another tab. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. Um, and I, oh, we have two tabs left. We have this one right here. So let me get this bent over. Okay, I might put a little glue here. And if anyone has a tip on like how to keep your workspace and your fingers clean with glue, so like, I don't know, should I have a wet paper towel next to me so I can just wipe it on? Because right now, every time that I get glue on my fingers, I wipe it on my jeans. I know, something that I tell my daughter, don't wipe it on your clothes, but it's always do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, so that one I'm gonna let dry and see. Okay. What we're gonna do next is, let's work on some of these butterflies. So I have my hot glue gun going. I'm gonna use this same tool right here. So I've already paired up my butterflies. 
So when you line them up, so like this one has four layers, okay? The more layers you have, the nicer it is. And I'll show you what I mean. Well, we'll just do this one. So you wanna line it up because I'm gonna take this tool and I'm just going to bend it in the middle. So I'm gonna fold it so that all my butterfly wings um, are now just ready to be propped open. Then what I do is I'm gonna prop open half on one side, okay? I'm gonna take the glue gun and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. And I'm sort of, it's thick. I'm putting, oh, you can see it. I'm putting like a, a glob there. And I want the glob to dry like that because it will keep my wings open and it also becomes really sturdy. So I can stack another butterfly on top, but all my wings will still stay propped open. It becomes very sturdy because you have this layer and then we're going to prop it open between, we're propping it open between all the layers. And it doesn't have to be so big as you get closer over here. And you can look at this and say, oh, that's too much and kind of bend it down. But you can kind of see that gives it a lot of layers. So when we put it on here, it's going to stay open. It's going to look like it's fluttering, which is great. Okay, so we got one side down. And while this is drying, I'm just going to put it down. That side's drying. Let's go back to our K. We have one more tab that we need to secure right here. So. Oops. Let's hold it down while it dries. Okay, it's totally sticking. I'm gonna let it dry before I mess with trying to put this K in. And it's very possible that we're just gonna take out and trim this a little bit so that it goes in perfectly. Um, okay, so we've got one side of the butterfly down. This should be dry now. This closed up a little bit more than I had wanted to, this layer, but it's okay. It has four sheets, so it's gonna be propped open. All right, so let's do this side. We could do just one layer at a time. That will let it dry and then we can push down. So let's do another butterfly. Um, this one again has four layers and you can see how I'm keeping this really cohesive is I'm doing different shades of pink, gold, and white. Normally with the gold, I'll do two types of gold. I'll do glitter gold and then metallic gold. But in this case, I felt like it was too much. I kind of wanted to, I did more pinks and then a little bit of the greens. And I felt like the greens was gonna match all three themes. Um, so a little bit in the present and the Grinch hand and then the seaweed. So, um, but you can see with the pink, you wanna layer it. So the butterflies is pink glitter, regular pink, gold shimmer, and then white, regular white cardstock. But it really ties together your whole thing because everything is just gold, white, or pink. All right, so in this case, line it all up and then hold it here and bend it. And I really like these flowers. I think they came out really, really cute. And these are all from Design Space. Um, I will have a Design Space tutorial. I always work backwards. I piece it together. And so that way, when I'm doing the Design Space tutorial for you guys, you have something to look at as well. And also, we know what the final design is. Um, because if you're like me, what you think is in your head and what makes it to design space, and then actually what makes it after cut and what actually makes it onto the project, it's so different. Even though the best planning can go in, I feel like I still make a lot of changes. All right, so I did all of them on this one, kind of changing it up. All right, on this one, let's do this middle one. And on this one, it wants to fold down so much, so I'm just gonna keep my hand here for a second and let it dry kind of propped open. Um, so let's see, what else? Yeah, so I don't know how many of the leaves are gonna make it on here, but I did a 
two shades of green and then the gold leaves. Um, I just don't know what the K is going to look like when it comes in and sits in here. And then I have the, the glitter and the sequins that we're going to put in. So it just depends on how busy it is. I'm not sure how where I'm going with this just yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the last little prop right here. And then on this side, whoa, okay, so it's not dry yet. I'm going to put it down and let it dry. All right. So let's work on this K. Let's see if we can stick it in. Okay, so it's really tight right here. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just cutting off a little bit. I don't wanna cut off too much because this is also securing all my holes uh, for the sequins and the glitter. So I'm just cutting off a sliver to make it easier to put in. So you can see how much I'm cutting off. It's tiny. Okay. And then a little bit up here. Um, so this gold paper is so pretty. Um, I bought it for $5. It's in one of those $20 pads from uh, Michael's. So you've got to wait until it's on sale for $5. Sometimes it's on sale for $5 plus an extra 20% off. So that's definitely when I stock up. Okay, so now let's see if it all goes in. Okay, so it does. So what I want to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue down so that I can just press down when I'm in here. Okay. Okay. Oh, how pretty is that, right? going to be pretty. Um, okay, so I'm going to stick this edge in so that I can get the corners down really good. All right, so now we need to put in our confetti and all that stuff. So I'm going to just fold this. I'm going to fold the tabs down for a second because what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to put glue on these tabs. We're gonna put the acetate paper down because that's gonna hold all our confetti in and then we'll decorate the top of this. So we're almost there. Okay. All right, so for the fun part, I have I don't even know what's gonna look good. I have white and gold here. I have a bunch of these and these. So I'm gonna try these for the first time. These are from the Dollar Tree, so it's a dollar. Now I looked on Amazon and it looks like Amazon is actually a little bit cheaper, but you get a nice collection and sample and it's all separated. So, you know, and it's a dollar. So I'm gonna try it out. I haven't ordered the ones from Amazon yet um, because I bought so many of these when I saw them and I haven't used it yet, so. All right, so I think I'm gonna pour in, let's see, which way is this opening? Because I don't want it to like all come crazy out. Oh, and you've got tape on here. Okay, where's my knife? open this up. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. All right. All right, so I'm going to put it down. Um, do we do almost all of them? Oh, I feel like that's too dark. I'm going to do these. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I totally flew up. All right, and then I'm going to do some of the whites, I think. So you can see. I don't know. Do I just dump this whole thing? Let me get some of these in. Um, for this one, I bought this. This is from a like a um, slime kit. So I'm a big Amazon buyer just for samples of lots of things. So I like this kit. It was nice. Oh, with a bunch of pretty colors. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> so it's going to look like that. Okay, let's do the white. And unfortunately, once we put our acetate on, it's done. So I feel like I've got to take some time on here and figure out how much to put in. And let's open up this one. This one I want to get a, more of the whites down. I don't want to make it too dark in here because my butterflies are light. Um, so I don't want to go crazy. Of course, it didn't open. This is when you get cut. <laughs> That was bound to happen. I'm gonna just dump these in. That looks like a good amount. And it's nice because we already had that printed paper in the back. So let me just put in a little bit more. dark ones. All right, so I think, all right, I'm sealing it up. <laughs> okay, so you want to fold all your tabs kind of propped up because we're going to put the glue down and then we're going to push our acetate paper down. So our acetate paper is right here. This is to seal everything in. So, Good luck. <laughs> All right, let's put our glue down. I like the sound of it. So normally I do a shaker and it's not this of this depth. Like it would be sitting on top with foam, um, with a foam sheet. So we would close this up and it would just be like a thin layer on top. Okay, so let's put this down. And I'm gonna move this around a little bit just to make sure that the glue gets everywhere so it seals it in. And 
and I'm gonna press my hand down just to make sure that it dries, it dries attached. And this is a good time also to shape it properly. Like to make sure that your lines are meeting up. see any more movement so that's good and then what's sitting on top of that is this layer right here to cover all of this so now that we've we've basically sealed up our like this is our our structure it's set so now we're just making it pretty so we want this down here this will kind of hide some of our glue and then all our other prop pieces are going to help us hide everything as well. So we have some work to do on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put the tape on here. I'm going to let this dry. Let's move all this out of the way. Grab another piece of scratch paper. Okay. And now I'm going to get all my edges. I feel like this dried really well so that's good and we didn't put I didn't put sequins in, or um, glitter in so all the pieces are kind of big it should be sealed really well to keep all those pieces in all right so here we go and so you definitely like you see in this case you're going to want to do your box in a color that matches your theme because it's not going to be perfect when we line everything up. So you're going to be able to see some of the pieces. Like down here, you're going to see some of the white. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we have the fun part. We're decorating and also hiding all of our issues, okay? So that's kind of why I did long leaves to kind of cover, come down and cover where I felt like it needed to be covered, like all the edges. So let's kind of like piece together some things. I don't know if this green is gonna to be too much. I feel like it's too much, huh? Oh, let's finish our butterflies. So we've got this side down, let's do this side. But I think between all the elements, we're gonna have plenty um, to kind of distract from our mistakes. And the mistakes are just going to happen. I mean, it's so delicate and the whole thing with making it delicate is so that you have a nice, a nice fragile kind of whimsical look. We could have made everything thicker and it would have been easier to work with, but I feel like that look isn't as nice, but we can easily cover this up. So you can kind of see over here, like if we put a butterfly kind of in the corner, that little piece goes away. We have different flowers that we want to put down and maybe maybe something like this let's see where our leaves I think I'm gonna really stick with a gold theme on this one we can even have the flower coming out a little bit Maybe a flower would be better. I think I made my butterflies too big. I should have had a few smaller ones, but that's okay. So we have that there. We can put, let's see. I 
feel like I don't know if I want the greens in there so much. Let's see. what we have so I'm not gonna finalize this because it's kind of hard to fix it at the end but you can see like and you can hear it I love it so it's going to look like this oops with some butterflies on it I'm not sure where we're putting all the butterflies <sighs> okay that can stay down for a minute I mean with the flowers being so sturdy also I can put a butterfly sitting on top of it so it's gonna go like this. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you missed something or if you want me to focus on something else another time because we are gonna be doing more 3D letters. And if you have a special project that you want me to work on, please let me know too as well. You can post your comments here and then if you need to send me files, pictures, inspo, um, send it to Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Happy New Year. Bye, guys.